Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. And in today's video, we're going to compare a fan cap versus a non-fan cap on the airbrush. For this, we will use my swallowtail because I do have the fan cap for it and no fan cap for it. Here is what we are going to do. We're going to compare the two directly. And uh, I already got some paper laid out with the fan cap label on it. And the other one, of course, has nothing. So that'll tell us which is which. Let me tell you a little bit about this video. Sorry, guys, I'm hitting my camera here. Um, this video was already shot, not this one right here, just a, a duplicate of it for my Patreon channel. And it was a request. One of my patrons asked uh, the difference between the fan cap, the 0.5, and the 7 millimeter, the 0.7, without the fan cap. Because the fan cap is only made for the uh, 0.5 needle. And actually, here it is in the package right there. It's only for the 0.5. So um, the one that know if he's, is he's still going to get more paint, should I bother? And um, there is a difference. And now it's not so much coverage. It's because the bigger needle is actually for pushing through more difficult paints. Let me move that camera a little bit so I don't keep bumping it. There we go. And um, by that, I mean like these uh, Wicked Colors, they're really thick. And it'll say, actually, you know, apply straight from the bottle. Almost impossible. Almost impossible. With all the airbrushes I've had, I still had to thin it um, with, their, uh, with their reducer, their 411. And... But I showed you in the original video for the Swallowtail, if you want to go back and watch that. I just took it straight out of the, the bottle here and put it right in the airbrush. It sprayed it as if it was thinned right out. That is what the .7 is for. It's for pushing out thicker, more difficult paints um, to pass through. The fan cap, even though it's a smaller needle, it, it presents uh, the paint in more of a... I always show my brush here like this. It's, it's going to come out like a flat fan shape this is what they mean by fan you open up a fan you know the kind you uh, cool yourself off with on a hot day and that and that is good for car kits we will shoot a car kit in this video so you're going to go more evenly less overlapping is what you want when you're doing a car kit in certain models so you're not going to go with like the spot the circle shape over and over and over you can do it over and over and it finally comes out even but as far as cars go all car actual cars spray guns have a fan cap because you got to get that long flat coat where you're not getting a lot of overlapping and that's what kind of messes up your nice paint jobs so that's what the shape of it looks like coming out of this airbrush like that see so that's not so much as a dumping coverage as this is for thicker more difficult paints we're going to use this to dust off this car. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just spray some primer, and we're just going to uh, show how it goes. Just going to pair the two directly. I felt I had a lot of questions about the fan cap, and um, and I also want to show you guys, it's the first time I'm actually doing a video from Patreon to YouTube, and I'm shooting a separate one all together. Um, so it's a little bit different, even for my patrons to re-watch something like this. But this is what the Patreon channel is all about. I get requests, and I'll show them. Sometimes they don't even ask for a video. They would just want me to answer them. I'll answer them. But you can see what I have here. You know, Ronnie from Patreon asked, can I try DuraClear over GSW Chrome? Um, I'll reach it for the DuraClear up here. This is what he meant. I did the DuraClear a couple weeks ago. and yeah, a really good product. But he wants to know, will it affect the Chrome? I don't know. I didn't try it. He asked. I'm going to do it for him on Patreon. Uh, I'll reach it for another note. Ron asked on Patreon, he wants to see A-Stan. Duralumin over my 2K black, then topped with my 2K gloss. We're doing that. We're working on all these right now. But that is what's going on um, with my Patreon channel. Here's another one. All right. Mike asks, can I spray Wicked? There you go. Wicked through the new Mobius point two. Now, that's going to be tr uh, that's gonna be uh, difficult, I think. But I will have to thin it because it won't shoot at all. So we're going to see if the new nozzle setup, that unique... Uh, tangent nozzle that's on the Mobius. Will it work with thick paints? We'll find out. So anyway, that is why I'm bringing up Patreon is because this already was uh, demoed on Patreon. And I waited a week or so, so those guys um, didn't seem like they were ripped off. I'm not going to do many, many videos unless it's a really widely asked question, which was my bucket and the airbrush spray booth. 
question. I got that a lot. I had to put that up. As you, you can see the views, I got 50,000 views on that. I just got inundated with questions about that. So that one had to go up. For the greater good, more people saw it. But this, I'm getting a lot of questions with this fan cap, which, of course, I'm sorry, guys. It's out of stock again. You guys keep buying these out. It'll be in before the end of January. That's what I was told, probably towards the end of January. But it's on its way in production. They're producing a bunch of them, a bunch of them. So uh, the second phase of my Swallowtail sold out again. Thank you, guys, for that. Um, second batch, third batch of the Swallowtail will be in about two weeks, I think uh, on the 15th. So uh, that's already uh, being worked on as we speak. But... Anyway, on with the test. We are going to just demo what it looks like. So we're going to use black. And uh, I'm going to use a primer so we can prime this uh, 69 GTO from uh, Ravel. I know a lot of you are going to ask what this kit is. Let me pull up the box. There you go. It's the Judge. I was trying to make the car from the Republic of Doyle. Have you guys seen that show, The Republic of Doyle? It's kind of like uh, Rockford Files. Uh, it's it's in it's a Canadian show, but it's really good. But this is his car. It's in a a light misty green color, and uh, he drives it through the whole thing. It, of course, it becomes a character just like the most cars do in TV shows. So that's why uh, I grabbed that. It's a big body, so I can show you that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my uh, all clad primer. I have a bunch of this stuff. I don't use it too often, but it's pre thinned. It's ready to go, and um, it sprays really good through the airbrush. I I do like this primer quite a bit. So. Um, we're going to just go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you the fan cap, show you the, uh, and then compare it directly to the .7. And, um, yeah, then we'll wrap this up. But anyway, let me get this shaken up. I'll head you to, the, meet me at my Pace spray booth, which is this away. And, uh, yeah, let's get this test started. All right, my friends, here we are at the booth. I put the paint in the cup. Just so I can have it more handy. The bottle sometimes, uh... A little unstable in the, the booth area, so I put it in the cup first. Here we go. We can see it. Now, check this out. Look at how wide, and I'm pretty far away. And you can see how much I've just covered with a .5, 20 PSI. Already, it's covered. Look at this. All right. Now, let me show you. Uh, let me show you a spoon. We'll go over a spoon. All right. I'm practically covering the whole spoon in one, in one take. Believe it or not, the point seven is not going to do this. You know, that's done. Um, it's just not going to do it. Let's, uh, let's see if I can show you uh, the effect this way. So yeah, it's a, it's a big line, but when I go across, it's a wide line. We can just fill this whole thing right in. So uh, let's go ahead, and um, I want to make one of these so you guys can see it at the end. Let me let me do the back here. I went ahead and uh, <laughs> covered it up, and I didn't want to do that. All right, we'll go with that. Let this dry. All right. So there you go, you saw it covered. Let's go ahead and do another spoon. Now if I get in a little close, I could probably just do this in two passes. There you go, it's done. Okay, hold on guys, here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, prime one side of this car. Now I don't know if I'm gonna put on this heavy as I am, but you can see I got the whole side of the car is already pre-covered in just two shots. See it? Check that out. And now if I go a little slower, and this is perfect if we're going to do coloring because uh, the overlapping, you're not going to see it at all. I didn't prep this. It's probably got dust on it. I, I just I just want to show you guys how uh, how a fan cap works, particularly for car kits. That's it, it's done, right? Hardly use any paint in the cup at all. So let me take this out of here. Let me clean out this. I'll show you the difference with the 0.7 uh, millimeter needle. And then uh, we'll go over the results at the bench and then we'll wrap this up. 
All right, my friends, I have switched out to the 0.7. Look, no fan cap. All right. So, check this out. Same distance back. See, it? it's really just a heavy line. It doesn't have that flat line. You know, it's pushing a lot of paint, and that's what it's for. It's for pushing thick paints through. It's primarily what it's for, you know. But I'm getting lines. I'm not getting the fan cap. So, uh, let me pull it back as far as I can. See, if I'm back, you might be able to get the line, but you're not getting the heaviness, and still it's breaking up. you got to come in closer to get where it pushes out a lot. So we'll keep this to compare. Let's uh, spray a spoon. So yeah, it's going to take more. I'm trying to get these edges here. There we go. That's not too bad. A little longer to take. Now, again, it has its purpose. The purpose is, put this over here, to push a thicker, heavier paint. Um, all right, let's grab the uh, car body here and show you what it would be like to prime this with the 0.7. Now the other one I had two passes and I already covered it and there's all spots here so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go again. Now I'm still not covering the, the body. Now I'm pushing a lot of paint so if I'm going to go in close, you can get it done. It'll look good, you know, but it's a, it's a different thing now with, uh, with a fan cap. It just is, you know, so. so you can get by without it. But if you're going to do a lot of car kits, a lot of wings on air aircraft, you're going to get beautiful, you know, not much overlapping, which is important um, with a lot of these kits. I overlap. You see, I have to overlap this line each time. So I got to overlap, overlap, overlap. Whereas that's probably two or three runs with the the fan cap, and I got the roof done, you know, and that's all done. So that's what I meant by that. Anyway. Um, yeah, let me clean this brush out. Let's head over to uh, the bench. We'll do a little comparison. Wrap this up. Alrighty, here we are back at the bench. And before we go over the results, a confession. It's confession time. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh, I didn't use the all clad. I opened it up and uh, didn't like what I saw. The cap was kind of stuck to here and some bits fell in. It was a little chunky looking. I've had this a long time. These plastic bottles really don't hold well to a long time. I think I've had this for four years, probably since the channel started. And I do love their primer, but this was a little bit, and I didn't have time to strain it. I couldn't find my strainer, which I think is in the other room. Um, so I just grabbed, what I did was I grabbed another primer, black, that I had on the shelf. And I just got this Aqueous in. In fact, here's their three, white, gray, and the black I just got in. Pink for the new... Uh, Mr. Finishing Surfacer just came out, so I just had this come in. But I grabbed this quick, thinned it quick. It needs to be thinned. And uh, quite blown away. This is really good. It doesn't smell that much. Even though it's a, a solvent base, it's half the, the smell of, as a, a lacquer. It's an acrylic lacquer. It's part of the Aquio series. But boy, um, anyway, that's my confession. I had to use this instead of the other one. I just didn't have time to... Uh, look for my other. I think I have another bottle somewhere, but boy, they they gotta put these in glass jars and not these plastic ones. It looks like it didn't last too long. Maybe the uh, the BBs that they use in here got rusty. You know, I don't know what they're using. You know, I use uh, homotope, hematite beads, which uh, are anti-corrosion. So who knows what they use? Anyway, anyway, that's what we have in here. We have this. If you guys want to see it, hold on. Black Surfacer 1000. And uh, well, here we are. Here's the fan cap. Don't hit the camera again. All right, we just went across. I mean, here it is on this side. We really filled it in. And that was only like three strokes across. Look at that. But that, that's it. Just one quick stroke across. One pass. And here is the point seven right here. So let's hold that up. And that was its one pass. I just did it on the one side. Yep. So you can see the difference right there. Now, that's a point seven. You're thinking, wow, that's really going to pour a lot of paint. It does. It comes out really dark. But it's still in that cone shape. And, um, you know, the further out you get, you're going to get this, whereas the other one still beats it. And uh, that is the difference. Is it just You're just going to get that flat, nice, even coat. Because it's um, 
flat and in that shape, it comes out a little heavier because it's all concentrated in that one line. You know, and that's why I always, always, always use, I'm reaching for the fan demo that I use. Yeah, so, you know, I always use this as a demo and you can see it. That's how we went across. It's flat and like that. And that's why you're getting that good coverage. This is more like a pencil, but a wider pencil. And, um, and there you go. Now, you're not going to see any difference with black primer. I was just showing you what going on. It, black primer is just going to dry nice. Look at how good this primer dried. Look at this. Really good. Whoa, we're going to have to do a test on this, huh? I'll grab the whole lineup and we'll do a test. I, uh, I like a good black primer. I do like uh, Mr. Black Primer quite a bit. Their spray can is second to none. But anyway, and that's the side with the the point seven. It works, but I had to go over and over and over, and I got it cut, covered perfect. This was about two, three passes, and it was done. You saw the demo. And now this really will come in handy, the, the fan cap, if you're going to paint this car a nice pearl, you know, blue, and you're going to go across. You don't want a lot of lines, because with metallics, you sometimes will see those lines. Uh, you can get them out going over and over and you can get the sanding out and sometimes the 2k will cover a lot but it's best to go the minimal overlapping lines and you get that darker line as you keep overlapping and uh, that's what is good about painting car kits with uh, a fan cap and uh, yeah so there you go that is your demo of the fan cap fan cap 0.7 right 0.2 millimeters larger this size yet it still sprays like that Whereas this one at 0.5, the coverage is just, uh, it's just a whole different thing. And that's why people like the fan cap. And uh, there you go. That is the test. So there was a quick, uh, quick for me, right? <laughs> Some quick demo of what a fan cap actually does. Um, I got the request for the patron. I knew a lot of you guys were asking about this fan cap. And I get a lot of questions as what does it do? And I explain it. And I've showed it in a few videos. I have fan caps on my other airbrushes. But uh, I think it is a good way to show it off, you know, a direct side-by-side -side comparison, particularly now that I got the point seven in my uh, swallowtail, showing how even you think even more paint's going to come out, and it does, but still not going to come out like that. So there you go. Now, if you're waiting for the airbrush, um, as I said, the second, second, the third phase of them will be uh, coming in, I believe we're on the 15th, and then another wave after that towards the end of the month. Towards the end of the month will be the fan caps. So please have patience. I didn't want to do this because you really can't get these. But you can, uh, I think you can sign up for the airbrush. So maybe you can also sign up for the fan cap too. I don't know. But um, they are coming in, a lot of them. So uh, there you go. And like I said, maybe we'll go ahead and test these aqueous uh, primers. Because, boy, this black primer is really nice. Wow, look at that. Just even. I don't even have to sand this. Wow, really impressed. Um... All right, guys, there you go. That is the test. And uh, I think coming up, I want, I'm want. i curious about this new Vallejo Ultra Matte Polyurethane Varnish. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's in the new bottle with the new logo. So maybe it's a new formula like the primers are. And then because I have another Ultra Varnish Matte, all right, a little different. We've got an E on the end. But maybe we'll do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison with these two. And I want to brush them on and spray them on. But this looks really thin. I don't think I can brush this. But we'll see. This I think I can brush on. You can see how thick it is. But I might do this, and then uh, after this, we're going to do uh, a video of test of the my new Pace spray booth that just arrived. The ones that handmade by Bob Pace here in America, all made of steel. It's a nice one. It's half the size of mine. I think you guys are going to like it. I haven't opened the box yet. I just know that the company makes a great product. So that's going to come up. Maybe this, and then the, the spray booth. And then on with a bunch of tests, maybe including a direct test of these new primers, because, boy... That is awesome, once again. Anyway, guys, there you go. That is the test. And uh, thank you so much. Please like the video. Oh, don't put a thumb down. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know when I have a new video. We're trying for two a week. We're doing it. We've still been doing it. And uh, we will continue to do it. Uh, onward and upwards to 100,000 subscribers. We will make it. And um, we have more giveaways coming up, including a waterfall spray booth and a bunch of other stuff. So there you go. We, uh, we want to say thank you again. Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2024. And uh, we hope to have a year as great as it was last year for the channel. You can see in my, where I'm living, it's 38 degrees outside, 49% humidity, 43% humidity in the house. That's like none and 66 in the room I'm sitting in. That's a little cold, isn't it? Man, I'm going to put the heat on. 
like at around 72. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much. God bless you all. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.